Corinthians 2, verse 12. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 12. Whatever you have received is not, is not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God. The spirit, whatever you have received is not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely, freely given us. For he, he has given this to us because he is our teacher. The spirit helps us to understand spiritual truths. The spirit is the one to help us understand spiritual truth. People can tell us from here to tomorrow, but it's the spirit that helps you individually because we are individual persons. It is the spirit that begins to show you and teach you and helps you to understand biblical truths. It is the spirit. These are reasons why we need the spirit. Because he's the one that reveals the truth. He is the one that teaches. He is the one. Number four, the spirit gives us power. The spirit gives us power. Zechariah 4 and 6. Not by might, not, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. Not by might, not by our own will, not by our own selfish desires, not by power, but by my spirit. The spirit is is the one that gives us power to heal. The spirit is the one that gives us power to deny sin. The spirit is the one that gives us the power to deny the flesh. The spirit is the one that gives us power to, over, to overcome, to conquer. The spirit of God is the one that gives us the what? That gives us the power. It's the spirit of God. And these are why, this is reasons why we need the Holy Spirit. Because he is power. Wow, the Holy Spirit is power. Do we understand that? That the Holy Spirit, so without the Holy Spirit, I'm kind of powerless. Hmm. Without the Holy Spirit, I'm, I'm powerless. The devil, ain't, the devil ain't trembling at me. But when I receive the Holy Spirit, when I receive the Holy Spirit, I receive my power. I receive my power to, to, to trample over serpents. When I receive the Holy Spirit, every knee shall bow. Every demon, every demon shall manifest. When I receive the power of the Holy Spirit, because I'm, when I'm receiving the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm also receiving God himself inside of me. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit is how we hear from God. The Holy Spirit is how we hear from God. He talks to us. He whispers to us. He is how we hear because he is God. He is God. The last point I have is, and this is the most important part point I have. John 16. I think that's John 16, 7. John 16, 7. This is my final point. This is my most important point. Okay. But, but verily, truly, I tell you, it is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. This is the most important point. The Holy Spirit is Jesus continued in us. The Holy Spirit is Jesus continued in us. Jesus is saying the Holy Spirit inside of you is better than the Holy Spirit beside you. Did you get that? He's saying the Holy Spirit inside of you is better than the Holy Spirit beside you. So in this verse, this is when Jesus is telling his disciples, I, I got to go away. I, I, I got I to gotta go to the cross because after I leave, I'm going to send the advocate to on your behalf. I'm going to send the advocate that you can carry with you every day. I'm going to send the advocate that can be in the same place at the same time. You see, Jesus, he, 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 he was limited to what he could do because he couldn't be every, because this is Jesus in the skin, right? But this is Jesus in the spirit. 
So Jesus and his kid couldn't be everywhere at the same time. So he said, I gotta go so the advocate can come. I gotta go so the one that's coming can be with every person individually at the same time. I gotta go. He's saying the one that's coming is going to be in the inside. The one that's coming is going to be in the inside. I'm on the outside, but the one that's coming is coming in the inside. The one that's coming is going to be the one you can talk to every day. The one that's coming is going to give you miracle hands. The one that's coming, people, uh, the glory of God will be brought forth from the one that's coming. The one that's coming. And I came to tell you that he's already came, people. He's already living in the inside, but it's time for the manifestation to take place. It's time for a manifestation to take place. Speaking in tongues is, a metaphor, is the evidence, is the evidence of the Holy Spirit. The advocate is here today. <laughs> the advocate is here today. He wants to go home with everybody. The advocate is here today and he wants to move. The advocate is here today. God has already sent him, and his name is the Holy Spirit. His name is the Holy Spirit. He is a person and God at the same time. He is a person and God at the same time, which is why he can be any place, anywhere at the same time. I prefer him than just Jesus in the skin because I can go home with him. You can go home with him. You can go home with him. You can take him to work with you. You can take him to daycare with you. You can take him to your car with you. I prefer the advocate because he's everywhere at the same time. Whoa. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to call Minister Denise to go ahead and take us home on this morning. But I want you to know that the advocate is in the house. The advocate is in the house. The Holy Spirit is in the house. And he came to move on some people on today. <laughs>